Yellow, this is Delusional Lobo here. I hope you guys are doing swell today. For this video, I'm going to be showing you more stuff that I have found out online with Yoshimitsu. Now, these are not new stuff, but these are things that you can do with Yoshimitsu if you like to, to get extra damage against the wall. Instead of having to do the constant 3, 2, 1 plus 2 into the wall for more damage, you can do this instead. Depending on the angle and how close you are to the wall, you can even get more damage with Yoshimitsu. Now if you see, the damage is pretty high. If you were to get the wall, this is usually what you would do instead if you want to get the extra damage against the opponent. So as you can see, you can get even more damage if you do it that way. But again, the combo specifically only works if you're close enough to the wall, and as you land your down forward 1, 2 into 1, and they get bounded in tornadoed but they get flanked high enough towards the wall you can perform the flash and then go into your one three slide four into dragonfly stance into four you can essentially do this with a lot of different launchers and counter hit launchers as well against the opponent so as long as you're close enough to the wall any launcher would work except the the ones that immediately bound right from the first hit like samurai cutter You can also do the same thing even without having no sword stance and pulling off the flash from certain combos or certain starting launchers against the opponent if they're near the wall. Another type of combo route you can go with Yoshimitsu if you want to go for some damage or if you want to go for the Dragonfly Stance route, you can perform this particular route but it depends on the normal hit launchers you'll be using at the start. So for example, you can go for the old Tekken 7 combo route you can do with Yoshimitsu by pulling off your down forward 2, into CD1, into back 2, into 1, Kencho, into back 2, 1, and then you sidestep to your right, into 3 slide 4, Dragonfly stance, into 4, 1 plus 2. The issue is that you can't perform this combo with your up forward 3. For some reason, you don't have enough time to then go for your back 2, 1, to then pick up the Jin or any character specifically that you want to pick up, with this combo route. But you can do this with other particular normal launchers if you want to. So yeah, that's about everything. All the combos that I've listed here are combos you can do with Yoshimitsu with any character. The one thing I will say is that these combos are not new. These are actually old combos that players already figured out with Yoshimitsu, but for the sake of the video, I wanted to add it into my channel so that way you can go and quickly go and show yourselves exactly all of the tips and tricks you can do with Yoshimitsu in this game. So thank you guys for watching. I do also have now a Patreon, so if you guys want to help out and support your boy, I will post it up right here and there will be a link on the description. And yeah, subscribe to receive more of my shit and stay safe, stay tuned.